I can search for a particular ticker symbol such as Ford or JPMC, or maybe I just want to find some companies that are in manufacturing. I can dig in even further by looking at SEC reports from the past few years, such as 10K and 10Q filings. In this portion of the application, we're actually using our new vector similarity search with hybrid query capabilities. This is really interesting because, as you likely know, companies like to use a lot of jargon and technical language in these reports. We index these documents for both full text and semantic searching. One term that demonstrates the differences between the full text and the semantic searches is, is scary times ahead. As I said, companies are using very complex language in these reports. They're not calling something scary like a five-year-old would. So if we do a full text search, we don't have a single match across many, many years and thousands of companies of SEC reports. But if we do a semantic search, we do. We have it references to COVID-19 and a variety of different kinds of risks. I can drill down even further and look at a particular company. And this is leveraging the hybrid queries that I was talking about before. Now let me explain how we built this leveraging real-time data and the different capabilities of Redis Enterprise. Starting on the left side of the diagram, this data is coming from several live sources and is being organized into a single data plane by the bridge component on top of Redis Enterprise. The different Redis capabilities are highlighted in blue there. This is all the information about the assets, all their historical and live pricing for their entire history, and other important bits of metadata. We're storing these in Redis using JSON documents indexed by our real-time search capability. As each asset has slightly different attributes, each has its own documents in the database. The indexing allows for full text searching on all attributes of the asset. In parallel, we're also listening to the market updates and using a combination of PubSub and WebSockets to instantly update the system all the way to the front end.